Hey, it's Kevin Tilfe with JK on the Run, and just the other day I mentioned the UPS man showed up, and what he brought me was the Easy Skin from the folks over at Easy Gear, and I uh, just wanted to give a quick video review of this because, quite honestly, this is something better served by video than having a written review. I can kind of show you what it looks like and how it works and so on and so forth. Um, so let's let's quick talk about what this is. It's obviously a sleeve type case for an iPhone, and it does go for $29.95. And what you get is the actual easy skin, which is kind of like a very flexible, thin material. It's probably about, I don't know, one, maybe two millimeters thick. It's kind of hard to see. I'm not up on my metrics. I don't know, you know. Um, so you, you get the skin, which is available in four colors. This is the uh, frost white. They have onyx black, princess pink, and cool blue, all $30. Included with that, you also get a little holster. Kind of looks like, I don't know, something out of Halo, maybe. I, I don't know, I could play with it later. Um, but it has a belt clip in the back that you can actually turn sideways, both sides. And we'll get into how this actually works with the iPhone in a minute. Because I also want to point out something else that's included. And this is a $15 value, which is pretty interesting. Uh, they must have partnered with the folks at the invisible shield, uh, the shield zone folks, because what they give you is, and let me see if I can kind of, you can kind of see the outline, hopefully, of the front face of the iPhone right there. Hold it the right way. Um, this is an invisible shield strictly for the front face, the glass of the iPhone. And if I kind of lift up here, hard to get at. There we go. You can kind of see there's the shield right there. And it's sticky on one side and not sticky on the other side. And what they include to install it or to apply it is a little uh, piece to flatten out the air bubbles as well as some shield spray, which actually does come in handy because you, when you apply an invisible shield, you have to spray it with this stuff so that it's not adhesive right away. It'll kind of be tacky for a couple minutes and you can play with it, move it, put it on your device. I'm actually not going to install the Invisible Shield front face on my iPhone because I have it on there already. And I doubt you can really see it because it's, well, it's invisible, isn't it? Uh, seriously, it's, it's um, very clear. It just adds a little bit of friction from a user standpoint, but does not dim the screen at all or anything like that. And uh, so therefore, since I already have this, I purchased the Invisible Shield for this. I don't need the one that's included. So I'm not going to cover that, but I do want to mention that it is included with the Easy Skin uh, because it's $15 value if you were to purchase it. So in any case, uh, the skin itself, it, you kind of just slip your iPhone right inside it. And because it's flexible, you can just pull up the corners. And that's really it for installation. It just kind of fits on there. I'm just kind of smoothing it out because it kind of looks like it's it's leaning. I guess it would be this way. So let me kind of fix this real quick. All right, so now I've got the easy skin on there. Got it lined up kind of nice. And one thing I noticed right up front is that none of the, uh, the ports or jacks or anything are covered up. You can see here's the uh, earphone, um, uh, earphone right here. You've got access to your power. You've got access to your headphone jack there. It does not interfere with the camera. Let's see if I can kind of, it's kind of hard to see there. You can maybe see a little line around it. Lighting's not too good in here, and this is frost white, so that doesn't help. Um, the home button is covered right here, but obviously accessible. And one thing I've noticed is when I do this to unlock my iPhone, I, you can maybe hear it. I, I actually kind of hit the end of the skin and just a little bit of a you know, flip there. It's not a, a, a problem by any means, but it's just something to be aware of. Um, you have a, kind of like a, a wide mouth opening on the bottom, so that way you have access to the docking port, syncing port. You also have access to the uh, speaker that's there, as well as the microphone. So it doesn't really interfere with anything. I'm kind of wondering why there's a second cutout up here when the first cutout is actually where the speaker is. Um, so I don't know why that's there. Maybe it's just fashionable. I don't know. I'm not seeing the purpose. Um, something else that uh, I'm not too keen on, even though I, I like to protect my devices, 
at this point, because the iPhone controls are very, they're not recessed, but they're, they're barely sticking out from the device itself, well, now they're kind of kind of covered up. They're available, but they don't stick out as much. In fact, the volume button doesn't really stick out at all. The skin kind of goes up, has the cutout, and comes around. So it can be difficult, I think, for some people to be you know, using the controls. You can get at them, obviously, because I'm changing my volume as we speak, but if you're used to the controls just sticking out from the device, this is going to take some getting used to because you know, there's that one or two millimeters of protection there that are, you know, causing that so it's not sticking out anymore. So it's kind of hard to show, but it's just something I wanted to mention. Otherwise, the, the cutouts are in the right spots, and the device has that, you know, thin layer of protection now, plus the invisible shield right on the front face keeps your, your glass from being scratched and so on. So it's not too bad. I wonder, you know, I didn't check to see if it would actually fit in the dock with this, so let me just do that real quick. Uh, you know, it does not, eh, it's a bit of a stretch. You gotta give it a, a good shove in there and notice how um, this was actually kind of coming off a little bit. You can see it's kind of stuck there. I think that's gonna be the case with just about any kind of protection. I don't wanna say, well, this is a problem with the easy skin because quite honestly the iPhone dock is made it's almost form-fitting to the iPhone so I think anything you add here on the bottom is going to cause that kind of issue from no matter who you're buying it from um, so that's that's interesting let's uh, real quick take a look at our little halo piece here I don't know why it looks like that I, I just feel like it does whatever uh, that holds the phone like this and we just clip that right there and now I've got a little holster for the iPhone. Again, I can make it go sideways if I wanted to. Of course, that would probably drive the accelerometer nuts if I had this on all the time. But um, I'm still not seeing the point of that little cutout up here. Uh, maybe this was supposed to click in there. I do not know. But in any case, the phone's not going anywhere. The holster's got a real good grip on it. And uh, just plastic holster. Not too bad. I'm not a big fan of belt clipping my devices at all. Um, you know, to me they're not fashion items, but that's just me. Um, so, in any case, not a bad deal for thirty bucks. Uh, probably comparable to most other skins that are out there for the iPhone. And uh, I definitely feel like it would be protected. I'm kind of just rubbing around with my nail and all that, and it adds a little bit of a little bit of protection if you're going to bang the device around. Hopefully you're not, but uh, not too bad, not too bad. So this is the Easy Skin. This is actually their Slimline, the Easy Skin Slimline, and it does go for twenty nine ninety five. You can go to EasyGear.com. I'll put a link in the in the post here and uh, check this out. I could, if you want protection for your iPhone, I could see this being a very viable option. Not bad. So thanks to the folks from Easy Gear for sending this off and. Uh, you know, maybe we'll give this away or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Again, I'm not big into putting a case around my devices. Not, at least not the iPhone. For some reason, I just don't want to cover it up. I don't know. I guess it's the reality distortion field affecting me. I don't know. Anyway, have a good day. Take it easy.